Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the boat gang. I've uh, got the Pro Boat Recoil 2 on the block, on the block. Uh, today we're going to be going over like pre-run maintenance, what you need to do out the box, what you need to look for, uh, what you need to do before each run. We're basically going to grease the shaft, kind of go over a few little odd and end things to help prolong the life of your boat so you have more fun while you're on the water. So stick around. Big B with Ironclad RC. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, this video is basically, uh, I'm leaning more toward the new boater. You know, with your new boat, a person that's never ran an RC boat or owned an RC boat before, this video is definitely for you, okay? Uh, when you get your new boat, okay, make sure everything on your boat is tight, all right? Make sure all your wires are covered, okay? Uh, if you have a little gap in your wires like that, you may need to uh, grab some heat shrink and... and, and and cover it up so anything doesn't ground up. Another thing you need to look for is a kinked water line. Make sure all your water lines are, are free from obstructions, all right? Uh, if you do have a kink in your line, a lot of times they'll kink off over here with this tight bend. Uh, this ESC, this, this tube right here, it doesn't need it, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to fix it. Get you a, a spring that fits over your water line. Fairly tight, you know, it actually needs to be tighter than this one really tight and uh put it back on your your speed control with the spring over your cooling line like so and that will prevent any kinks from or in your water line all right that'll help you out so with this boat i did notice that when i have my battery hooked up okay and my my battery wires actually are like right on my steering okay and i actually got on my my servo like that and i and i lost steering all right so i got a little fix for you uh what you what you need to do or what you can do i guess is kind of put your wires right there and and i made this little little plate right here okay it's just a little piece of plastic i, I kind of modified it so that it will fit right here on that servo screw Pull this this screw out of my servo mount all right and actually put it in this little piece of plastic that I modified okay and put it back in the servo mount and that should help keep your wires away from the servo horn it's a very simple mod and a simple fix and it could save your boat you know your wires uh, get locked up in that servo horn that's how the boat actually turns and uh, you lose steering. So that right there, it's quick, it's easy, and it's a fast fix. And it'll keep your wires where they need to be, out of the way. Another really important thing to do on your boat is just go through the boat and uh, Loctite everything. I use blue removable Loctite for pretty much everything on my boat. I uh, want to check your grub screw here and anything basically that's vibrating or, or has moving parts attached to it. All right, go through, uh, you know, your hardware, pull your screws out, make sure there's Loctite on your screws. Um, with this with this rudder right here it kicks up okay so I definitely recommend putting blue Loctite on both of these screws we're gonna go ahead and do it real quick it's your Loctite and it, it doesn't take much you know uh, sometimes less is more with Loctite it doesn't take much a little dab just a little dab on your screw or your nut will do get them back on the boat here and to set to set the tension on this rudder you may have to pull it out put it back in pull it out and 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 kind of you know tinker with it all right so it feels like i got it too tight there so i'm actually going to loosen this nut up all right okay so that's actually too loose okay when you're running it, it may just kick up and, and you'll lose steering capability so put just a little bit maybe a quarter turn an eighth of a turn or so until you get it to where she'll stick and it's actually kind of tough to pull it out yeah so like that all right you want to be able to like kind of put some pressure on it and pull it out you know like that 
Uh, all these screws come Loctited from Probo. Okay, all of them do. But if you're like me, you know, you just like having something to do, then, you know, this this is something you could do on your boat just to kind of pass time. Uh, I recommend taking out this grub screw especially, okay, and Loctiting it. Alright, just Loctite that screw so that you know the boat's ironclad, okay? Get this one super tight. Make sure that the rudder, you know, is zeroed out on your remote, you know, and Loctite it. Okay, if, and if you don't feel like uh, pulling the remote and putting batteries in it, just uh, just pull the screw. Don't move the rudder on the steering rod and Loctite it, okay? Alright, so, uh, so we Loctited this guy right here. Okay, we Loctited the steering easy connector on the rudder. You may want to go ahead and, oh, never mind. It's good. Alright, it's got a Z-bend right here. That should be good, okay? Another thing you may want to consider, uh, this boat from Pro Boat, uh, it's actually like through bolted into the transom. Uh, so that's, you know, telling me that we may need to go through and put some sealant around the, the strut base, the rudder base, and your turn fin trim tab base. All right. Uh, Pro Boat doesn't use sealant on the hardware which uh which is fine you know like a little bit of water you can't figure out where it's coming from you may need to think about putting some marine adhesive on the on the hardware all right it doesn't need to be done like i said i don't have any water in this boat but uh you know give you something to do you you pull your boat apart learn you learn about your boat you know how it works how everything's put assembled and put together plus you're uh you know waterproofing the boat all right, to, uh, to take the shaft out of the collet here, that's called a collet, you just, uh, you just need two 10 millimeter spanners, all right, to uncouple your coupler, okay, just uncouple it here, and, and that will loosen up the flex cable here, so we can pull it out the boat. Pull your flex cable out, you may need to force it out the first time you pull it, just pull it out, all right, you'll need some marine grease. I like to use uh, marine dynamite marine grease. What I do is I put it in like a little medicine syringe here, so I can actually. What I do is I shoot a little bit in my in my strut, just a little bit, and after I shoot it in my strut here, okay, I actually will take my cable and go back and forth. Okay, the, inside that strut, there's a couple little bushings. There's like a little grease dam in the strut. Uh, when I shoot it in there, I try to kind of shoot it at an angle, okay, at an angle in the strut. That'll kind of shoot it in those grease dams, and you take your cable, wall it around in the strut there, so it gets in the grease dam. And then what I do with like this .150 cable here, put some grease on my cable. You can use gloves if you want to. I don't care. Arr, arr, arr. Just, just smear it all over your cable like that. All right, a lot of guys don't like to put grease on the end of the cable so because it may slip in the collet. I've never had an issue with my cable slipping in my collet due to grease. Okay, so uh, just kind of grease up your cable like so. Get it all over it. Put it on your shaft. All right, especially on the shaft. That's the main, that's the most important part to grease is the shaft. All right, so we just slide it back in the, in the strut simple very simple uh, a lot of times i don't grease my, my shaft fully because when you push your shaft into this strut there's like a little build up of grease on the end and i just take that little build up and i'll smear it all over my shaft all right the shaft is the most important part all right you grease your boat every time you take it out every single time you take your boat out you grease it regardless it's like a ritual you guys before you hit the water grease it up it's going to make everything last longer and it's going to give you a smooth sound and drive line it's also going to prevent water from getting in the boat through the drive line okay that grease it acts like a water dam all right and then you just push it into the boat and tighten down your collet okay you don't want to tighten them up too much you just want to kind of uh get them good and tight you know not not like super super tight all right just kind of tighten it down uh, you don't want to strip out <clears throat> the collet nut first of all okay if you get it too tight you could strip the threads on your collet nut also if you get it too tight it will compress the the strands on your flex cable and 
cause premature pilot wear okay if you over tighten it a few times it could compress the cable and you know you tighten it up later on it'll only get so tight on the cable because the cable's compressed and it'll start slipping in the in the collet you'll have to replace the collet and the cable so just kind of get it tight not super tight you know uh and don't back it off once you get it tight don't back it off of there just tighten it up and stop done d-u-n done okay iron clad it out another thing you could do to the boat is uh put a piece of heat shrink over this stuffing tube strut connection see the grease on the on the on the connection right there so that's telling me uh if grease is coming out then water can get in okay so what i'm going to do is use this piece of heat shrink that i've actually str stretched out just a little bit to get over that connection all right we're going to pull the strut off pull the cable out <laughs> i guess you need to do this before you grease it <laughs> all right i got this this screw loosened up all right we'll pull the strut off okay and cut us a little piece of this uh heat shrink cut it a little bit long all right what i'm gonna do is actually use some of this clear silicone marine silicone from loctite uh inside inside this shrink shrink tube all right put it on the on the strut all right that silicone it'll break free when you go to pull your strut off okay just put it on there like so put your strut back on the base put your screw in all right mine looks pretty good there all right yeah that's perfect get you some heat and shrink it down with that silicone with that silicone in the, the the tube that should prevent any water from getting in the boat all right and should be water watertight all right put your put your nut back on i don't lock tight this nut because i'm constantly loosening loosening the nut up for uh when i tune the boat this boat right here has a ride pad so the boat is basically going to be tuned with your strut okay you tune this boat right here with the strut well the trim tabs too okay so that's done that's done i'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down i usually run it in line with the ride pad in line with the keel of the boat all right down trim will keep the bow down up trim will keep the bow up all right neutral trim should keep her leveled out when you get your boat run the boat just like it comes out the box it should be fine mine was okay uh oh yeah that that reminds me okay uh the battery the battery tray battery tray comes with these slits they're covered up with foam uh if you you know if you're going to be running the boat with the larger 3s packs definitely definitely add a battery strap cut these foam off the battery tray add a battery strap or two battery straps run three battery straps the last thing you want coming loose in your boat is your battery it could tear your boat up it could tear your electronics up with this boat in particular it's got an outrunner motor okay your battery comes loose you're running like a soft pack in the boat okay your battery comes loose the motor could rub on that battery put a hole in the battery the, if a lipo battery gets a hole in it it's going to burst into flames so make sure that your battery is secured that's probably the most important tip i could give you today okay make sure your battery is secured especially if you're going to be running the boat on 4s all right have fun be careful if, you know be careful be mindful of your surroundings these boats are fast they're fun and uh appreciate you watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we're tinker testing ironclad every freaking thing <laughs> we'll see you guys next time